Wait, that's number one. Let's look at number two. Number two, we have a, a list of solids here. We have, it says classify each of these solids as ionic, molecular, or metallic, or covalent. So we have C, which is a diamond. So I'm going to say this is a diamond. Diamond. We have CCl4. We have Ca, and we have CaCl2. And we are supposed to know whether they're ionic compounds, molecular compounds, metallic, or covalent. So let's, so let's let's look at let's look at this question here. So again, what we have what we have to do is so they answer this this problem right. It says metallic, molecular, ionic in the given order, but they I don't think they answered this one as well. Oh, they only answered three of the problems and not we have four chemicals here, right? They only answered three. So again, I guess my solution here is incorrect in this case. I have four compounds here. So let's look at number one here. Number one here, we, we got we get a carbon, which is in the shape of a diamond, right? So in the shape of a diamond, we have basically carbon-carbon bonds attached to each other. If you look at the chemical uh, kind of compound uh, of diamond, it's very, very similar to how the network of carbons is kind of bonded like graphite. Graphite is another kind of a carbon-based compound that has many carbon to bond to carbon bonds. So as, as you can probably tell, carbon can make four bonds, and we know that um, it's going to bond to another carbon who's going to make four bonds, and etc. right? So this here is going to bond to each other, and like so on and so forth, right? So again, this is this here is this here makes a very very rigid structure, right? Because again, these guys are very very stable. And basically, if we have a network of carbon carbon bonds, we are uh, what what would those what would that be? Would that be ionic? It would not be. It would be a molecular. It would not be as well. So in this case, it would be a covalent bond, right? So a covalent bond. Um, we, again, we have a we have two nonmetals. Carbon is a nonmetal here, and this uh, compound could be treated as uh, a covalent bond, right? So this the, so the first one here um, would be uh, would be uh, in terms of a co it has a covalent network. So you can say that this here is a covalent. It's a covalent compound. Let me do this in blue. This is a. This is a covalent. Covalent compound, or you can say covalent network, etc. As well, graphite again is one of those compounds. Diamonds is also one of those compounds, um, and whatnot. So let's do. So that's uh, that's covalent here. Let's look at number two. Number two, we have CCl4. So CCl4, and what compound would this be? Or how would I label this compound? Again, all we have to do is look at the chemical formula, right? Our first guy here is carbon, and we know carbon here is a non-metal. Um, you can look at the periodic table if you need help with this. So let me look at the periodic table. And as you can see, carbon exists on this right side here. It's under non-metal, so you know it's a non-metal here. Cl4 is chlorine, and chlorine is also a non-metal, right? Right over here, chlorine is number 17, and this is a non-metal as well. So Cl would mean that this here is also a non-metal. This is here is chlorine, and this here is a non-metal as well, which means if you have two, uh, we have non-metals bonded to a non-metal. Um, this is a good example of a molecular compound. And what we can do is we can actually name this as well. We know this is this is simply just carbon tetrachloride, right? Carbon tetrachloride, because we have four, 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 four chlor chlorines here. So four chlorines means it's the prefix of tetra. So it's carbon uh, tetrachloride. Here would be our uh, uh, chemical name for this compound. Here we follow the molecular, uh, the molecular uh, naming here. And we have Ca and CaCl2. So let me write this down here. So we have um, Ca, and we have CaCl2. So let's look at uh, Ca here. We have we have this metal here. This is calcium, right? Ca here is calcium, but it's not bonded to anything. So in this case, calcium, if it's not bonded to anything, you don't really have 
um, you have a solid. This is simply just a metal, right? But it's not, you can't classify uh, calcium in terms of these compounds here. We have ionic, which is a metal and a non-metal. Molecular is a non-metal and non-metal. Metallic is a uh, kind of special solid where it has kind of a multivalent uh, compound here. And in this case, calcium has a charge of uh, two plus, right? Calcium has a charge of two plus, which means it's not multivalent. So in this case, we don't have a metallic bond going on. And then covalent is simply just a network of um, a network of uh, uh, carbons, right? So, or something like our network of carbon, basically. So in this case, it's actually none of the above. Carbon, uh, calcium here, two plus, belongs to none of these options here. It's simply just a metal, right? And we can't really label this metal as anything else because it's a solid, but it's not. It's not. Um, it's not a. Um, it's not a molecule. Um, you don't have. Uh, you don't have like two elements put together. But however, if you look at uh, calcium chloride here, calcium chloride is different, right? You have calcium here, Ca is calcium, and chloride is chlorine, right? So we have two elements here. We have calcium here is a metal here, and chlorine is a non-metal. So if you have a non-metal and a metal here, you can simply infer that uh, if you have one thing on the left side of the calcium, and then you have chlorine on this side, again, you can make the assumption that this here is an ionic compound. So this here would be our answer here. We have kind of um, covalent, molecular, um, metal. So again, that's not it doesn't belong to any of these uh, categories here. And the ionic would be our answer. So I'm going to say this solution is incorrect because it only gave me three answers. So this solution is is incorrect. And then I'm going to have to say uh, carbon diamond is covalent is formed through a covalent network of carbon atoms. Uh, this is CCl4 is a molecular compound non non metal bonded to a non metal uh, ca2 ca here is simply just just a metal does not belong to any of these categories and cacl cl2 is an ionic com ionic compound compound metal and a non metal Sweet. Solution here is incorrect. I'm going to say because it only gave me three answers here. Sweet. That was number two. So now we can move on.